Hello and welcome back again. So those of you who have watched our little reel on how to create these ads, uh, this is the tutorial on how to create it. Since it's gonna be taking more than 30 minutes to uh, do that, so we kind of like uh, breaking these videos up into series of videos. So make sure to watch them all so you can understand how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is to look at a type of images that we want. So we, with the AI today, uh, we can use AI to generate some nice uh, image. So we use three different AI. Uh, we use uh, Microsoft Copilot to do that. Uh, that's uh, Microsoft uh, Copilot using uh, Dolly 3 to generate images. So we use that. And also we using Ideogram to generate uh, different uh, sneakers. Final one, uh, we use Leonardo. And I think the one with Leonardo, we choose this one, which is with Leonardo. Uh, Leonardo does have the background remover. So you can also remove your background uh, right inside Leonardo. But if you find it, uh, if you're using uh, Ideogram, or any other AI to generate your image and uh, you want to remove the background, uh, you can use Snap Edit. Uh, Snap Edit is free and uh, you can use that to remove your um, background from that. So you can just drop in your image from here, for example. Our sneaker here and we just drop it in and it's gonna remove the background for us. So once you have that, uh, you can just download it. So we're generating the uh, uh, sneakers using AI or any of your own images that you want to use then you can drop this into Caden Live. Now once you're in Caden Live uh, you can see when you drop any uh, video or images you have this warning if your frame rate and the aspect ratio is not the same as what in Caden Live the default so what we can do we just click on cancel to cancel that that's all we need to do now the next thing is to create some more tracks because we're gonna uh, use a lot of tracks like more than 10 tracks so let's just uh, uh, insert uh, roughly five of the tracks now simply click that insert five tracks and it should be above and video track and then click ok we're not bothering about any uh, audio now because we're gonna use the video track only so let's just minimize this okay so once we have that let's uh, create the background so right click and add the color clip and then click ok you can always change the background by double clicking on it and the color here do a different color that you feel it's okay for you okay once we have our clip uh, what we want to do is to create a 10 seconds clip so here you can see we only have uh, five seconds here so what we can do, uh, you can double click on it, come here where, the, uh, where we change the color and you can see the duration here. Uh, simply click in here and uh, type in zero and then you go to select this other zero here and type in one. So roughly what we are making here is 10 second clip. Okay, so you can see once we click the clip, it's a change to 10 second. Uh, you can change it up to 15 seconds uh, to create the clip. And now we have that, let's bring this and place it on the timeline. So we're, we have that now on the timeline. Uh, what I want to do is to create kind of like gradient background. So to create the gradient background, come to the alpha, uh, mask and king and select the alpha gradient here. And make sure to select the clip and drop it into the clip editor here. And you can see this nice uh, gradient color here. Now, and I think I want to change the color again to something that catchy. So I can just, uh, click here and change this to so something like that okay so this is what we have now now the next thing is to place in our sneaker and let's just place the sneaker right in the center there and we want to increase the length all the way up to be equal to the now you see my shoe here is yellow i didn't realize that so let's um double click on it and change this to a different color in this one the purple here will uh, will be okay so let's have that now what we need to do is um, we need to add a transform to the uh, sneaker here so to add the transform we can go down to the distort perspective and then select the transform and apply to the sneaker and we want to reduce the size of the sneaker a little bit down so now it's 100 so let's make it 80 okay something like that now if you don't have this overlays here simply place the mouse here and you can see these are different overlays that you can uh, click to see uh, placing yours, uh, your clip so that you can place in the right position there. Okay, so uh, we have this overlays here and you also have the zoom in and zoom out here. Later you will see why this uh, zoom in and zoom out are important. Okay, so once we have that now it's time to um, 
place in our text so let's create the text in here right click and create the first text now if you see that you don't have this background on uh, make sure to uh, click here so background so you can have a background on like that and also the grid here uh, so the grid here so you can have the grid shown like that uh, let's type in our text so our next our first text is new arrival so let's just click here and i want to have this one something like this and then let's create that okay place this make sure to place it so you can see and uh, make the equal length to the original uh, cliff there and then this is the first one there the next one is to create the um, sneakers or the shoes whatever you put it there okay so we have this and then let's uh, create that and make sure to bring this down again to the timeline make it equal to the length of the original cliff and then the final one is mega sale let's increase the size to 300 and the font to something thick and then let's bring this uh, down okay so now that we have finished the laying of the background and then the last thing that we need to do here is to uh, create this uh, yellow background here so let's do that uh, create that and then add a color clip the yellow in here something like that bring this one in and click ok and uh, this one will go at the back right after the color clip so we're gonna do that so let's move uh, select this by shift and select all of this and uh, just bring up one step and then bring in our yellow clip and we can bring it in here and to create these uh, little lines like an angle here we need to use the corners so let's go to the transform distort perspective and then the corners and apply to that and once you have that you can see the x1 which is x1 here that's the line x1 oh, so let's start with the corner one here simply bring that and grab it up something like that and this one to me might have to bring it up and this one let's bring it in like this and you can see that we have the fade uh, faded edges here so you can do come to the uh, fader alpha there's um click so it can have a straight cut lines there okay so that's the first part now uh, the second part we're gonna animate all of this so thank you for watching what's the next part here